This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to start selling your art online with no experience. Hi, I'm Frankie. I'm a full-time artist, small business owner, and content creator, and I'm here to help you pursue your creative career path dreams. No longer are the days of starving artists. I feel like that term is being deleted from our society. There's more than one avenue for selling your artwork than through galleries. We have the internet at our fingertips now. It's easier for us artists and creative people to get our work in front of the eyes that it's intended for. And I'm going to show you how I'm able to do that for myself and hopefully help you do the same. In this video, I'm going to be talking about everything from platforms where you can sell your art, to making products, to promoting your art, and so much more. If you guys see this past video that I made, this is a very updated version of this. You don't even need to go back and watch that. I have a lot more experience in this and a lot more to say now. So if you see that suggested, don't even go back and watch that. Watch this one. But, but for now, let's get into it. These are the steps that I would take if I was an absolute beginner starting my art business again from scratch. Step one sounds pretty obvious, but it is make your art and develop your own style. Obviously, you have to make art to sell art. So start developing a large body of work it doesn't have to be too big, but start developing a body of work to work towards your first launch. This is the time before the grand opening of your store where you get your inventory and you stock your shelves. Start creating work to sell and or turn into products. When I first launched, I tried to start with around five to 10 pieces. I definitely recommend at least shooting for five just so you have a little bit of inventory for when people come to your shop. Once you have this work, you can turn it into other things, but I'll talk about that in a second. But once you actually have your work, decide which platform you're going to use to sell said work on. You have a few options when it comes to places to sell your art. You could start on an already established platform like Etsy or Redbubble. Platforms like these can be helpful because they are already established and people are already visiting these sites so it's easier to get eyes onto your work, especially if you do not have an audience yet. These platforms are nice because they help to make your work more discoverable, but generally a lot of these platforms tend to take large fees from the artist which is why I stray away from things like this. For that reason, I personally choose to use my own website. I personally, this is just just personally think it looks a lot more professional when someone is coming to purchase art from you when it is your own website with your own branding but that's just my opinion I think it allows you to further express the energy of your art by doing that through the branding of a page that someone will visit my website matches my artwork and it just gives you and it just allows you to communicate your energy to your audience in another way that is another major reason why I use my own website I personally use Shopify to run my business I really really love them I honestly don't even see myself ever switching to another platform or needing to for any reason. It cost me about $30 a month to run my website right now, which is a lot better than using a platform like Etsy, which takes 6.5% of every sale. If you're selling $1,000 in product, that's $65 out of every $1,000. That adds up very quickly. I know there's a big like strike on Etsy right now, but I don't know. It's just not for me. It's up to you guys to determine if that is right for your business. But a lot of these platforms do take advantage of their creators. That's a rant for a different video, but I personally just love going with my own website. But yeah, determine which platform you want to sell your art on. And step three, now that you have art and a place to put your art, start determining which products you want to sell. You're most likely going to want to sell original artwork, which is great, but if you want to make this into a scalable, sustainable business that's not going to burn you out, and eventually hopefully make this into your full-time career, only selling original work is not the most sustainable route to go. Some of the most common products that I see artists making are prints, stickers, mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, tapestries, postcards, notebooks, and just so much more. There are literally so many things you can create with your work, but don't let that overwhelm you. I'm going to tell you how you can make all these products pretty cost effectively in a minute. Something that I have found very helpful when making sales is offering low, mid-range, and high-range products on my website. I try to make it a goal to make my art accessible to people. It allows people shopping in all price ranges to be able to find products that they connect with. Artwork is expensive. Artwork can get very, very expensive, especially original artwork that someone put 20, 30, 50 hours into, that's going to be expensive. And you want to offer ways for people to still enjoy your work without having to purchase original artwork. Original artwork should be expensive. For me, I am 22 years old and I've been drawing since I've been like before I could walk. I've pretty much been practicing this skill for 18 years, very, very seriously pursuing this as a career since I've been like 16. So that is years and years and years of a person's experience to be able to create this work. That also needs to be factored into the price when pricing your original work because it is 
is not just that piece of art, it is all the time that you took to build the skills to be able to create that piece of art. All the materials. Art supplies are expensive, very expensive. So do not undervalue your work at all because it is a piece of you. Original artwork should be expensive. Okay, I'm gonna go on a rant about that if I keep talking about it, so yes, but <laughs> offer lower range priced items on your website. When I say lower range items, I'm talking about like stickers, prints, postcards, just smaller, less expensive items that you can offer to people. Mid range is like hoodies, tapestries, or getting a little bit into a higher price range. And then high range being original work or canvas prints of your work, like embellished canvas prints of your work, just higher range items. Make sure you have different categories. If you are starting your art business on a budget, like I did, and the startup cost of making all these things, hoodies, t-shirts, notebooks, like stuff like that scares you, if you can't do that right now, I got you. You can look into a little something called print on demand. I'm sure you've heard of this by now, but maybe not, so I'll explain it. Print on demand is this really cool thing that allows you to upload and place your artwork onto a lot of different products. You can then take these products and put them on your website. And when people order these products, they will go to the production company where they will then be produced, packed, and shipped out. The best part is you don't have any upfront costs. The customer is paying for the coverage of the production of that item. All you have to do is send over the order and you get to keep the profits. This is a very great option for people just starting out their business. It makes creating all these products accessible to you without a very heavy startup cost. This is how I started out my business. I'm starting to phase away from print on demand right now because I really want to start carrying my own inventory as well as be able to use custom packaging and stuff. A lot of these companies just send out your print on demand stuff in a white poly mailer and it doesn't feel very personal when the customer gets it which is something that I really don't like so those are some of the downsides to it but it's also great because when you when you're using a print-on-demand service you don't have that fear of this is a new business I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell all of the stuff that I just ordered to sell like it is as you go sales so so it deletes that fear from your startup which is awesome and then you're able to move away from things like that and start carrying your own inventory later on in the future when you gain confidence in your business definitely definitely research print-on-demand companies heavily before you start using them. I've had some very bad experiences, some of which that have reached my customers and I have felt absolutely terrible. So definitely do your research and definitely get samples of anything that you're going to sell from these companies just to make sure you have felt the quality and approve of the quality because you are putting your name on these products. It's not the company. It is you delivering these products to your customers. You're just using someone else to do that. So make sure that the quality of what you are delivering is still good. But yeah, so I definitely recommend looking into print on demand if you want to put your art on different products at a low cost. Now that you have your art, your products, and a place to sell your art, it is time to set up your art social media platform. Do not mix personal and art platforms. Make pages solely for the purpose of showcasing and promoting your artwork. And I am talking everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, a Facebook page, YouTube, so you can use YouTube shorts. Get on every single visual platform that you can think of and link back to your website from all these platforms. And just start posting your art consistently. That is the key word consistently. This is how you're going to get your art in front of the right eyes. We have the power now to get our art in front of millions of eyes with just a little bit of content creation and the click of a button. I could almost make an entire separate video on content creation just surrounding artwork. I do this every single day. It is a major key part of my job. Second to making the art, it is the most important part of my job because it's getting it in front of the people that need to see it. I think I'm actually going to because I have so much to say about this. I'm probably gonna make a separate video. I need a sip of my coffee. Gee. <laughs> For now, you can go look at my socials. Seriously, I'm not just plugging myself. Go look at the type of content that I create around my art because I know what works. I, I really do study this. I started off 2022 with 3,000 Instagram followers and 20,000 followers on TikTok. Today, I'm almost at 25,000 followers on Instagram and this morning, I just hit 110,000 followers on TikTok. And these platforms are all surrounding just my artwork. These are all new people that connected with my artwork and these people could eventually become customers, which in turn supports your dream of being an artist. I think I know a little bit, just a little bit, what I'm talking about when it comes to art content creation, so I definitely will make a separate video on that because if I could help someone out, change y'all's life too, like that would be awesome. So that is a whole, whole another thing. But, but seriously, once you get your art, your products in your store set up, just get on social media, all the social media and start blasting your art in front of everybody. If you wanna make this happen, 
get it in front of the right eyes. Once you have all of that stuff set up, you can eventually do stuff like paid advertising. You can pay to boost your Instagram ads. You can pay for Pinterest advertising. You can now sell your art directly through Pinterest. You can sell your art directly through Instagram. You can sell it directly through Twitter. You can do ads on pretty much all of these platforms. I haven't even dabbled in that yet because what I'm doing with the content creation is working and it is supporting my business. So you don't have to worry about that yet. All you have to worry about is creating the art and getting it in front of the right eyes and scaling the business. So yeah, that was pretty much everything I've done up until this point in my business. Hopefully that was helpful for giving you a place to start. Those are all the tips that I have for you for now. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you're still curious about, feel free to comment them down below. I'll try to get back to you. And if any of you watching this have any tips for selling artwork that I did not mention, please drop them down below. Help each other out. The more artists we see being successful, the more mainstream this industry becomes and the easier it gets for all of us so help each other out down below if you can but yeah all that's left to do is for you to get out there and sell your work I believe in you it is just a matter of getting it in front of the right eyes and you can totally do it we got the internet <laughs> if you guys would like to check out my art all of my socials will be linked down below as well as my website but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much I will see you all in the next one bye